So hi, Sven, Andrea. Good morning, hi. good afternoon. Okay, then the, let's go ahead. So uh, as usual, our agenda is going through issues and pull requests. I suggest uh, that we add uh, briefly commenting about Google Summer of Code, and uh, I can do that. So I'm, I'm including that in the agenda, if, if you're okay with that. Certainly. Yeah, no, that sounds like a good plan, Jesus. Okay, I send. And uh, any other issue that you want to include in the agenda? No? Okay. Not right now. Okay, let's go then. So, uh, as usual, we can start with issues, and I think this is this is going to be quick because we don't have that much movement in this. Quick well, by the way, uh, as usual, we are taking notes in the Google Docs document. I'm um, answering the link in the Zoom chat. Right here. Just in case you want to collaborate in producing the notes about the meeting. Oh, Kevin, I see that you have done that already. Oh, no worries. Okay, thank you. Anyway, well, um, with respect to issues, we have like uh, five issues at the very beginning 100, uh, so 157, 56, 55. 54 and 53, which are related to Google Summer of Code. And uh, as I'm going to explain later, when we talk about Google Summer of Code, we are dealing with this in a specific repository for now. So I, I would suggest to, keep, to skip uh, these uh, issues until they are mature enough to discuss in, in this context. But basically, they are dealing with the scheduling of one of our Google Summer of Code students who is working in uh, producing reference implementations for the metrics in this working group. So uh, the real, let's say, issue start in 149, which is a bunch of uh, 404 errors that um, Matt detected. And uh, it's a matter that somebody tries to take it and uh, fix the, the, the problems. And there are mainly errors from the um, metrics repository to this repository. So if somebody wants to take this one, then that would be great. Otherwise, there is no progress in it, as far as I know. Then, moving to the next one, 138. It's where we are receiving feedback on how to measure efficiency. We are starting to produce the metrics on efficiency, starting with uh, those related to the issue tracking system. But uh, as far as I know, there is no new feedback to discuss. As usual, feel free to comment and produce any, any feedback that you may want. Then we have 136, which is testing repositories uh, with your reference implementations, or testing reference implementations would be maybe a better name. And I'm going to talk about that later in the context of Google Summer of Code because uh, that's one of the things that is going to be done finally. And uh, I think for the rest of the of the issues, we don't have any specific movement, so I would skip all of them. And I propose to close the two ones related to Google Summer of Code because I think they are no longer needed. They were used for prospective students interested in our Google Summer of Code ideas one for Arbor and one for Percival. And uh, I suggest that we just close them now. Do you agree? I, I think so. Okay, then I, I'm closing at 82. If somebody else wants to say something, say it quickly because I'm closing it. I think it's okay, you can go ahead and close it. Okay. So, 82 is closed, and uh, 
81 is going to be closed in a moment. Half a second. Anyway. Okay. And um, I don't have any comments for any other of the issues because I think they have not been moving during the last, uh, they have not moved during the last two weeks. So if any of you have any comment, let, let us know. Otherwise, we can go to pull request. Okay, let's go to pull request. Then we have to open. The first one is just uh, um, a simple change in name. In some files, still uh, the older GMB name was used. So if somebody can just um, review this so that we can merge, that would be great. Otherwise, I think there is no, no other coming. This is related to 148. So as soon as somebody uh, reviews it, we can we can work with it. And the other one, which is 147, this was opened by a SIN some time ago. And uh, as far as I know, and, and that is my, my last comment, this has been now addressed by a file that Matt opened in the governance repository. We were discussing this in one of the Chaos Weekly meetings. So my feeling is that we could close this one. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's been addressed. Okay. In that case, I'm, I'm closing it right now. And uh, this is all with uh, respect to uh, pull request. Any other thing related to issues of pull request that any of you want to comment? Okay, thank you. Then uh, if some of you can review 148, that would be great. Let's move to the next point, to the next item in the agenda, which is Google Summer of Code. And, okay, and I'll review the 148. Oh, thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm merging it later if the review was positive. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, as I said, the next uh, item is uh, Google Summer of Code, so I can start uh, summarizing. We are working with uh, Polaris uh, 000 with uh, the student, and we're working in a separate repository. If you look at the issues that we have open with respect to uh, Google Summer of Code, you can find links to the repository. And, and I just wanted to comment that the approach that we are following is uh, trying to be a bit more, um, let's say, precise on how we uh, build the implementation. And for that, we are doing a, a simple uh, class hierarchy where we're going to have uh, a class for all the metrics with the common code for all the metrics and then a specific classes for each of the metrics so that when you're looking at the specific details of the implementation usually you only need to look at the code for the specific metric for the, the class for the specific metric uh, since this is going to be a set of modules we are going to be able to writing tests on the metrics themselves too so that we are going to have reference implementations that are a hierarchy of classes and those classes are testable and we're going to have tests for them so that we can figure out if we have regressions or for any reason the way we are measuring uh anything changes at the same time we have realized that there are at least two kinds of implementations for the metrics. One is using plain Python, so just uh, doing everything with the usual Python, Python data structure. And the other one is using Pandas. Using Pandas, in many cases, simplifies the, the, the implementation, but makes it also a bit more difficult to understand, especially if you are not familiar with Pandas. I see the assumption is that People usually are familiar with Python or at least can read Python code. 
but they are not always familiar with pandas. So, so what is your, what's your suggestion, Jesus, that we don't use pandas? No, that we have two separate implementations, one with pandas and another one without pandas. So that if you don't know pandas, you can still read the, the, the let's say, the Python only implementation, and you can get the idea, and you can write your own implementation if you want. But if you know pandas, you can see the usually more efficient and more, let's say, data driven uh, approach, which would be using pandas. Is there, so, a, is there a challenge that, I mean, are we having people try to do things in pandas and being confused or? So I don't know, but uh, and that's where the feedback is not appreciated. So, and, and that's also one of the reasons why uh, Polaris uh, is pre preparing his uh, approaches in a different repository. So very likely in this week, he's going to have the first uh, draft of how to implement all of this in this way. And you are more than, more than welcome to join the discussion. We're discussing over the pull requests he's producing. And the idea is that once he has uh, something that, that can be understood by, by the rest of the people, just propose it as a change to our repository, but only then, so that we can have a clean discussion in his own repository. And, uh, and one of the things that, that they want to see is exactly what you mean, Sam. So to, to which extent this is going to make the stuff more complex or, or, or not, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think my only, my only question is that I think, I think a lot of, I think if you're trying to do metrics, um, a lot of this trace data without pandas, it's, it's kind of like deciding that you wanna build a wheel yourself instead of purchasing one at the store. So you're more, you're more familiar of using Panda for everything. I mean, yeah, and I think like there are so many convenience functions for calculating metrics in Pandas. That's my only. Uh, yeah, that's. Like, right. I don't have any particular right. problem with it, but it, I don't know that. I mean, I think there's a. I always like to use the tools that are available, and Pandas is a pretty powerful tool. But yeah, um, my, my main concern with Pandas is that um, many people who speak uh, Python or can understand Python have a hard time until they understand Pandas because you know, the a, data structures and everything is a bit different from other Python tools. Yeah. No, it's, On the other hand, most of most people, more and more people are, are, are well known with Pandas. So maybe this is no longer an issue. So I, I, I really don't know. Yeah. In, in any case, I, I suggest that, that we wait for Polaris during his implementations and then we comment based on the code. Hopefully, one of the things that is uh, easy in this, uh, for these metrics is that the metrics are not that complex. I mean, it's basically counting staff. Yeah, which means that's true. If you are doing that in, in, plain, in, plain, in plain Python, I don't yeah. know, maybe that's Agreed, the yeah. For the, for the straight up activity counting metrics, like pandas is like shooting a fly with a cannon. Yeah, 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 that, that's the idea. So it, maybe we can even decide at some point for this metric, if it makes sense to have both implementation for this one, it only makes sense to have one with Panda because the other one is so complex that it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for explaining it. Okay. Thank you. And and, and this is the current state of the of the of the Google Summer of Code project related to this working uh, group. So if if you want to have a look at the details, look at the issues, follow the links to the repository, and participate in the pull request. And uh, and that's all from my side. Sam, I don't Sounds know if good. you have something to comment. Uh, I don't really have anything to add. We are, I do have the Google Summer Code students on Augur focused on implementing the uh, evolution metrics in the API against our new data model. So that's, that's where they've been spending a good amount of their time the first couple of weeks, uh, really also using that as an opportunity to get them familiar with the technology in Augur. So, um, that's really all I would have to add to the discussion, other than what you've already shared. Okay. No, oh, that's fine with me. So, any other feedback or comment by any of you? Silence. Okay. So, I think we are done. If, if any of you have any other comment for about anything, or do you want to discuss anything else? So, then just a, 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 a minor comment. Given the schedule for releasing the metrics in um, in uh, in Chaos, you if you remember that um, set up for around mid June, so that basically means that that's going to happen at about the time of our next meeting, which is, which is June 19. So I suggest that we consider as uh, our release 
all the metrics that we have with a pull request approved by the time chaos is present. Do you agree? Yeah, I think I think that's a good strategy. Okay, so in that case, I'm, I'm going to try to submit some new uh, pull requests with uh, with um, different metrics, all of them related to a fault, which is where we are working now. Uh, uh, please is, look I at them. I have a little. question. Yes, uh, I think like the last uh, meeting agenda you sent, there was one matrix there you mentioned. I think it's effort. I just, mm -hmm. I'm trying to read on it again. I'm wondering if we don't yet have a definition of those matrices, because I remember uh, this uh, Zimmerman's algorithm, the SZ, they used one of those metrics that we were trying to discuss here. And uh, I think it was efficient. Yeah, it's efficiency. It's efficiency. Sorry, I said the fourth is efficiency. So yeah, let, me show, let me show you the link. Uh, I'm going to write this in the, in the okay. chat. So you have the focus area, and we are within focus area of code development. And in code development, we have, yes, going slow, just a second. Okay. In, in code development, we have uh, three goals. Activity, efficiency, for efficiency and quality. If you go to the area related to uh, efficiency, goal efficiency, I'm writing the link to the focus area in the in the chat. So like this. If in that web page you go down to goal efficiency, there are some metrics which are review duration, review acceptance, review participants, review backlog, issues, issue duration, issue participants, and so on. So some of them had a definition, something similar to that, had a definition. But right now what we are trying to do is to produce a consistent definition for all of them. Okay. And uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we need to start from scratch. If we are having something from the past, what we are doing is to reuse it. So okay. the first uh, the first step is to go to, for instance, review acceptance and see if we have some metric with this name or maybe some model that could be interesting for this and try to recover as much information from it as possible and then write the rest of the metric. Mm -hmm. By the way, now I realize that we have review duration, I think, but we don't have the link. Let me check. Just a second. Yeah, we have re reduced duration. Reviews accepted and reviews declined. Okay. But we don't have the link. So I'm going to fix that. Okay. Then uh, there are the, the other thing I do, uh, like when we see efficiency here, learn how efficient a process is directly related to a code development. Is that like the, uh, the definition or description of the efficiency here? The efficiency in this sense is how efficient is the process that we are dealing with. And the process, the only processes that we are considering for now are code review and issue closing. Okay. And uh, so how efficient they are, with respect, of course, to, to code development. So for instance, that's why in the case of uh, reviews, we mm -hmm. have reviews duration, which is an idea of how long does it take. Mm -hmm. So it's assuming that the shorter the review period, the more efficient the review period. Yeah, the, 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 that's well understood. The thing I was just asking is like using efficient to define efficiency. Is it not like a secular uh, way of thinking? To say the more efficient thing is more efficient because it's more efficient does seem circular. I'm not sure that's the intent. Well, yeah, I understand. And now, we understand, now we understand what you mean. So I think that we are using efficiency in the name of the metric based on efficiency in the English word. So that we don't try to redefine what efficiency means. Okay. So, but but I, I understand what you mean by recursion in this case now. Yeah. And um, it, we can we can just uh, substitute a review by sorry uh, efficiency by its definition as an English word. 
but very likely the dictionary is going to say something like efficient method, method or okay. I don't know. But I understand what you mean. So in okay. any case, if you find it's convenient to produce some more awardings, especially those of you who are more fluent in English, please pro 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 propose whatever change you may want. So if you have any other idea of how to say this, that would be great. Because I understand that can be confusing. Mm -hmm. But in any case, the current meaning for this is we try to define the goal efficiency, which has this name as a name of a goal, let's say. Okay. When we try to define it, we try to define it in plain English. And okay. for that, we use also the word efficiency or efficiency yeah. or efficient or whatever. But I agree, if you find some more wording that avoids this, that would be great. So just pull records with that if you want. Okay. Okay, thank you for the comments. Any mm. other thing? Okay, then from my point of view, we are done. Do you want to discuss anything else or? Okay, thank you very much then. See thank you. you. In in two weeks. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye.